Hi and welcome back to Cheeky Crypto. Today guys, we're going to be diving into the world of Anchor and specifically the price action and what might be on the horizon next. As we get into this video, if you find it useful and informative, hit the like button. I really do appreciate that. If you happen to be new to the channel, do subscribe, tap the bell, select all notifications and in doing so, you will be kept up to date with absolutely everything we do here. Right, with all that said, done and out of the way, let's dive into this technical analysis on Anchor. We're going to start off with how things have been performing on this weekly channel chart really kick starting back in March of 2020. Here we can see this started the five impulse waves to the upside where we have some interesting price targets associated. We can see they're about 713% away from that uh, peak of the bull run and where we think anchor is likely to end up. We can see that there are two correction waves, wave two and wave four, and uh, we are performing interestingly at the moment. We'll get into that on the smaller time frames. Anchor has actually performed incredibly well over the bull run so far. We can obviously see that it's from March 2020 through to where we were up in March of 2021, 378 days, we have seen 34,240% in gains. To put that into context, guys, Bitcoin has only gone up during the same time period 1,600. So we do know that Anchor has been performing incredibly well. It has performed rather well for the first couple of waves. And obviously, we've had a bit of a, a stumble in this fourth wave correction. And we're going to go through what that is looking like on the smaller time frames in a moment. So again, the expectations of 700% move to the upside is something that we are likely to see as things really heat up. What we are witnessing now is not all too different to what we saw at the beginning of wave three. Overall, we can see that we were oversold at the bottom of the crash in March 2020, right up into the overbought area very, very quickly. From here, we went and basically peaked up in overbought before going down to the oversold area for a second wave correction. Here we can see that we went back into the overbought area for wave three, back to oversold for wave four, and right now we're peaking back up there in the overbought area, signaling us in to a big move to the upside overall. So this weekly chart is pretty well structured. There's no concerns here. Everything's looking pretty good. Um, so let's jump down into our daily. As we get into this technical analysis, this is where we start to see the Fibonacci retracement tool. Okay, at this particular level, we can see that we have a high point just up here um, coming in about 21.8 cent. Okay, so this is again an interesting area. If we take that, uh, that high point, and we take the low point of the fourth wave correction, this performance then allows us to see where things are potentially going to go for our fifth wave to the upside. This actually comes out at peaking at around 77 cents. And from here, we can obviously see that it's not too much of a stretch to go after a dollar, although it would be a bit of a push and an overextension on the 4.236. So it's something that we like to aim for, but technically speaking, 77 is the end. And that is where our 700% comes into play. We can obviously see that the 618702786 areas, this yellow box just here, is where the key battle is going to take place. This is where we look for that weekly closed candle above the 786 to signal us into a good wave to the upside. Right now, however, we are trading sideways right down here after an initial push to the upside. So good recovery had been occurring here from an oversold area on our stochastic to an overbought area. And then we started to trade up quite nicely. It's slow and steady, but we were raising to the top. We can see that we became overbought and then Bitcoin decided to pull the entire market down. After this pullback, we did find support on our 236 six area coming in at 8.7 cent and basically it was an opportunity to buy up some at this particular point here we can see we started tracking back down but we are of course oversold right now tracking at 4.44 on the stochastic rsi to put that into context guys we can take a look we uh, we're down down in this lower end of wave four here we are incredibly oversold in the same way that we are right now likewise when we were down at this low point as well so things are getting very bottomed out now on the dailies and uh, obviously we can be down here for some time that being said, it's been a while already, and I think we are likely to see a bit of a push to the upside in the very near future. So that's quite a positive thing to note. Now, at this point, we are going to jump down into our smaller time frames. This is where we see the majority of our volatility. As we zoom out on this one, we're going to quickly talk about what was forming over here a little while ago. We saw this downward trend and upward trend, and together this formed this triangular wedge that we got an absolute huge breakout from. This breakout took us above our resistance at 12.3 and we actually ended up peaking up towards our 12.5 cent area. From here, we did see uh, a small pullback and then Bitcoin absolutely destroyed us by taking us much lower here for this particular altcoin, taking us into some interesting low points where we started to accumulate a little bit more before we started to move back up. Again, trading between a couple of key points here. We have uh, support at 10 cent 
uh, which is actually now more of a resistance line. And then down here at the lower area, we have nine cent. And again, a little bit lower than that, we have 8.6. Um, so right now, what we are actually looking at is kind of trading in between these two areas, right? Um, but things are starting to heat up as we zoom in on this particular trading pattern here. So as we get into this, we can see that ultimately we are still tracking to the downside. We can go ahead and throw a trend line on here and we can see that there is quite an obvious downwheel trend from this particular position and again we can just throw this on we'll adjust that a little bit and you can see that there's basically a few touch points on the high area and we can see that we're tracking down now when we actually go ahead and take our uh, trend lines from a different perspective uh, the upside we can see that things are definitely starting to get a little bit interesting and what we are looking for in this particular scenario is a bit of a break to the upside. Now, this feels like we are testing the lower bound. Again, if we actually pull this out a little bit, we can see that in a little bit more detail. Um, so what we'll do is just zoom out. Here we go. So now we've got another triangular wedge that has formed like we saw previously, really testing that upper area, testing and testing, really finding this area down here as we enter this oversold area. So we are looking to push anchor to the upside. As we take a look at the volume, the volumes are incredibly low. If I zoom in on that, so bear with me one second, uh, we can see the volumes are still really, really low. So the volumes being low is not going to be really helping our case when we look to push up to the upside, but it does help protect the price from falling too hard. So although the low volumes can be seen to be a bit bearish under the fact that people aren't willing to buy, which is fine, under the circumstances of a decrease in market, actually, I take that as a bullish tail because ultimately we are looking to increase the volume when we push the price up and we want to ideally decrease the volume when we're pushing the price down. So although we are correcting sideways, the market's very indecisive on what to do. There's a fair bit of fear in the market at the moment overall because Bitcoin doesn't know what it's doing either. Until Bitcoin decides which direction it's going to go, uh, i.e. the players there, which way they want it to go, um, will we know which way Anchor's likely to go? And ultimately Anchor's in a nice low area now, so we are looking to push the stochastic up but we do want to see the volume grow so we need to see that fear in the market dissipate as we potentially push back to the upside now ideally what we want to do is actually try to target that 10 cent area and if we can actually go ahead and uh, push our way up past this resistance here and potentially past the 10 cent area and just test that as a support line for us that should actually be uh, not only invalidating our downward trend but also turning this area into a good support line for us. So overall, I think Anchor's on the, the cusp of pretty major changes over the next little while. Things are definitely starting to heat up. But like I said at the beginning of this video, um, you know, ultimately Anchor actually has quite large periods of trading sideways before it absolutely goes parabolic. So for example, if I jump back up into our daily and I just bring this back down, we can see that there was a sideways trading pattern here that lasted for quite some time. If I actually grab hold of my date range, we can actually take this from where we were over here all the way through until we started to see decent traction. It was 128 days. And from there, we can obviously see this pattern forming here where again, we're going sideways. But after that, we actually had a really small period of time where we actually just moved to the upside very, very quickly. And that only lasted uh, for a total of 59 days, okay? And um, so what we look for is a, a longer sideways trade and then a parabolic run towards the end, which lasts a very short period of time in comparison. So it can be frustrating, but this is an opportunity to basically just build those positions ahead of where we are going with it comes to anchor this project is something that i think is uh, really really good for the space it does a lot for various different projects around the world in terms of being able to spin up nodes um, with one click of a button no technical expertise required if you wanted to run a bitcoin node you could go to anchor's website launch their app and actually run a bitcoin node if you wanted to run an ETH 2.0 node, you can do that. Zilliqa, you can do that. Elrond, et cetera, right? Um, so Anchor is doing a lot for the space. And I think this is a fantastic project that I think is going to really take off really well in the future as well. So overall, right now, really happy with how things are going out, allowing us to build a bit of position if we wanted to. And again, this is one of those projects that has seen very significant gains, much better than some of those other altcoins in the space as well. And there's only really a one other in our portfolio that has performed as well, and that's Matic at 42,000%. Like I said, 34,000% in 378 days. Very few projects will be able to compare with that. Overall, I think Anchor on the bigger timeframes are looking, is looking perfectly fine. We've got good structure and we are still moving up as planned. On the smaller timeframes, there's a little bit of volatility, but that also looks to be moving to the upside shortly as well. Overall, that is my analysis on Anchor and my brief update to you guys. If you have found it useful, then do uh, click the uh, like button. I really do appreciate that. If you are new, then do subscribe, tap the bell, select all notifications. And in doing so, you will be kept up to to date with absolutely everything that we do here with this said done and out of the way i hope everyone has a fantastic day and i'll catch you all in the next one